In today's lesson, I want to go over a list of formulas and equations associated with acids and bases. So let's begin. If you know the H plus concentration, you can calculate the pH using this formula. It's negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. In water, the concentration of H plus is the same as the concentration of the hydronium ion. So it's important to know that. The pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. And the pH plus the pOH, this adds up to 14. Now, if you need to calculate the H plus concentration from pH, you could use this formula. It's 10 raised to the negative pH. And if you need to calculate the hydroxide concentration, it's 10 to the negative pOH. Now, the concentration of H plus times OH minus, this is going to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14, which is equal to the auto ionization constant of water, Kw. So water can react with itself. One of the water molecules will accept the proton, the other one will lose it. So water can ionize into hydronium and hydroxide. Now this value holds true at 25 degrees Celsius. So it could change with temperature. Now let's talk about finding the pH of a weak acid. Let's say if you have a weak acid like HF, or let's use a generic acid, HA. It's gonna react with water and it's gonna release a proton. So what is gonna acquire that proton turn into H3O plus, and we're gonna get the conjugate base A minus. Now Ka, the acid dissociation constant, it's going to equal the concentration of the products divided by the reactants. H3O plus, A minus, and HA, they, they're in the aqueous phase. Water is the liquid, and we don't include solids or liquids in the equilibrium expression. Now, if Ka is small, particularly 10 to negative 4 or less, a lot of times you could simplify this equation and when that happens H plus the concentration of H plus is approximately the square root of H the concentration of HA times Ka so remember that's if Ka is less than 1 times 10 to minus 4 typically this approximation will work once you know the H plus concentration, you can calculate the pH using this formula. Now, if Ka is small and you want to just go directly to the pH, here's another formula that you could use. The pH is equal to one half the pKa of the acid minus log of the concentration of the acid, all in parentheses. So that formula will just help you to go directly to the pH. All you need to know is the concentration of the acid and the Ka value. Now it's important to know that pKa is equal to negative log of Ka. Much in the same way that pH is negative log of the H plus concentration. By the way, for those of you who want all of these formulas and more, uh, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to post a direct link to the formula sheet where you can get all of these equations. Now let's talk about if we have a weak base. A weak base will react with water. We're going to get the conjugate acid of that weak base and hydroxide. So for this reaction, we're dealing with Kb, the base dissociation constant. It's going to equal the concentration of HB plus times hydroxide 
divided by the concentration of the base. So just like before, if KB is less than 10 to negative 4, you can calculate the hydroxide concentration using this formula. So it's uh, approximately the square root of the concentration of the base times KB. Once you have the hydroxide concentration, you can calculate the pOH using this formula. And once you know the pOH, you could find the pH using this formula. So three steps. Now, for those of you who want to just use one step and get to the pH directly, you could use this formula. It's equal to 1 half 14 plus the pKa. Here we have KB. You need to calculate KA from KB. So this is the pKa of the conjugate acid, whereas KB represents it's associated with the base, the weak base. So this is going to be 1 half 14 plus pKa and then plus log of the concentration of the base. So that's how you can go directly to the pH if you know the concentration of the weak base and the KB value. But let's talk about how to get KA from KB. So KA is going to be KW divided by KB. And KW is 1 times 10 to negative 14. So that's how you can calculate KA from KB. And once you have KA, you could determine the pKa. So let's review those formulas again. So we said that the pKa is equal to negative log of Ka. Likewise, the pKb is equal to negative log of Kb. Now, the pKa plus the pKb equals to 14, much in the same way that pH plus pOH is 14. If you need to calculate Ka from pKa, you could use this formula. And Kb is equal to 10 to the negative pKb. And as mentioned before, Ka times Kb is equal to Kw. And Kw is 1 times 10 to negative 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. And again, you can find all of these formulas in the formula sheet down below. Now, let's talk about a buffer solution. If you have a weak base and a conjugate weak acid, you have a buffer solution. The pH of a buffer solution is equal to the pKa plus log base over acid. Let me write this differently. So this is the concentration of the base divided by the concentration of the acid. Now, because we're dealing with a ratio here, this could be in molarity or in moles. If it's in moles, as long as it's, it's in the same solution, which means the volume will be the same, it's going to work out. But usually when you see concentration, you're dealing with units of molarity. But because we have a ratio here, it could be moles or molarity. Now, sometimes you may need to calculate the concentration, the moles, or the mass of the base or the acid. If you need to do that, this form of the equation will be helpful. So the ratio of base to acid is equal to 10 raised to the pH minus pKa. By the way, for a buffer solution, the pH is equal to the pKa whenever you have equal amounts of base and conjugate acid, or acid and conjugate base. Now, there's a lot of other formulas 
in the formula sheet, you know, if you have situations where you need to calculate the pH of a polyprotic acid, like H3PO4, or for amphoteric ions in water, or even uh, if you need to find the pH of an amphoteric salt. So if you want those formulas, uh, feel free to check out the formula sheet down below. Now, one last thing I'm going to talk about is the quadratic equation, because if Ka or Kb is not less than 10 to negative 4, you may need to use this. So this is the standard form of the quadratic equation. Once it's in this form, if you need to calculate x, it's equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, for those of you who want videos on how to solve difficult problems using this formula in relation to assets and bases, or if you just want like a practice test full of questions, I'm going to be posting more videos or links to videos in the description section below. So feel free to look at that and you can get a ton of examples on how to use these formulas or at least most of these formulas. Thanks again for watching.